All right, welcome back to Poogers. So first thing I like to do is make these Cacodemons in fight with at least two of the Barons, but in this demo I got all of them to in fight, which is nice. So, and then shoot that switch, spawns a bunch of imps, grab the rockets, and uh, this fight is pretty much free. So, I, I, I lied to you guys, I did, um, in the map 23 video, I said I wasn't going to max this, but, well, I did anyways. <laughs> um, literally right after I made that video, I, th I thought, I realized there's probably a few uh, opportunities for some cheese in this map, and thankfully, the two hardest fights, you saw me, if you did see the map 23 video, you saw how much I was rewind scumming just to get through that once. Uh, the two hardest fights in this map, you can actually cheese, so that's what I did. It makes for a very boring video, <laughs> but uh, whatever. It's another Pooger's map, Pooger's Max, might as well upload it. So this fight is probably the hardest in the map, with uh, since you can't cheese it. Well, you actually can cheese it, but it would require a uh, line def skip that I don't have a setup for, so yeah, no thanks. But... Yeah, target those Arachnotrons, and then just rocket down everything else. Sometimes the Revenants can spawn earlier than usual, and it kind of just sucks because you got to bait them while you rocket down the rest of the Arachnotrons, and yeah, that kind of just sucks. Also, if they shoot a homing missile, you either have to circle around it until the fight is over, or you just have to eat it. There is no way to, uh, to break the missiles. So yeah, that also kind of sucks. And then, uh, as you saw in the map 23 video, I go for the, uh... Oh, I gotta pause. I'm This is way too fast-paced, I'm sorry. <laughs> I go for the, uh, non-secret BFG. Press that switch first, which opens up another thing here. So I have, I found a setup for this SR50. Uh, the back arrows of the player line it up with that top line up there, and then... Align yourself with the uh, the edge of this platform here, and then SR50. So yeah, that's my setup for uh, this jump. It's not super consistent, but I mean it, it works. Like I don't know how much of the time, but it works. And then once you hit that tiny switch there. You can go back into the cave and grab yourself the BFG, which changes the next two fights and makes them, in my opinion, completely unfair, so I cheese them. So for this fight, grab all the ammo you can. Just everything you can carry, grab the mega armor and supercharge, you want to save that mega, and then get to the very side of this and then just run over that wall it lowers uh it raises uh slow enough so you can just run right over it and don't ask me why the teleporters in this map are really really odd like sometimes that second fight it's seemingly done but when you start the third fight more stuff teleports in and I don't know, I don't get it. It's really hard to explain, but the teleporters are just super weird. But yeah, with this cheese, I just wait until the uh, the wall over by the third arena, wait for it to fully lower, and then you can run back and start rocking stuff. So one of the main things about this cheese is, once again, if uh, you get shot by a homing missile, you cannot dodge it, so you just have to dip into the damaging floor and uh, take the teleporter again. And same with that arch file. If he targets you, you have to drop down and take the teleporter, and you can dodge pretty much everything like that. You do take a little bit of damaging floor damage, but that's not a big deal. That's what the Megasphere is for.
Ekali actually shared a strat with me for this fight if I didn't want to cheese it, but it was still super, super inconsistent. I was probably like 1 in 50 at it. So yeah, no, I, I, I just, I'm just gonna cheese it. Make fun of me all you want. I don't care. And then to finish off the cyber, just use BFG until you have 320 cells left, and then finish them off with SSG, chain gun, use whatever. And now it's time for the final fight, which uh, I also cheese. You, if you, the map 23 video again, if you saw it, it is stupid. <laughs> this fight if you do it uh, the legit way but again the teleporter raises really slowly so you can just SR50 into it and from this platform here take out one of the cybers and I like what I like to do is make the second cyber over there in fight with some cacodemons and pain elementals the infighting in this demo did not go super well. You can also just use uh, the rest of your rockets if you have any. Most of the time though, you will probably use up the rest of your rockets with the, uh, the previous arena. But I'm also saving my BFG, I'm switching over to Super Shotgun, and I want to save my BFG to kill that last Cyber. I did use one here. I did use a BFG shot here just to clear the uh, the path of the pain elementals, so I could go onto this platform here. And then just use the rest of your BFG on the cyber. And he didn't die, sadly. And I was getting really low from the lost soul chip damage, so you can retreat. You can retreat back to this arena and grab uh, some med kits and stim packs, and just heal up. And here I'm just waiting for uh, the Lost Souls to uh, charge at me. Last two enemies are the one Cyber I couldn't kill and a uh, Cacodemon that's getting stuck on the main rock in the center there. And I kill the Cacodemon first because I, I have a gut feeling he's going to scam me. So yeah, I killed that Cacodemon first and then finish off that last cyber, use SSG, chain gun, whatever, and then uh, make your way back to the final arena. And that's basically it. So yeah, sorry for lying to you guys, I, turned, I did max this map in probably the worst way possible, <laughs> I'm really sorry. It's a super boring demo because of the cheeses, but I hope that's okay. I cannot do these fights legit for the life of me. It's beyond me. But, uh, yeah. Akali. In my opinion, okay. This is my brutally honest opinion. With the BFG trying to get 100% secrets, this map is kind of just unfair, and I don't really like it. But without BFG, it's perfectly fine. It's actually really fun without BFG. But, yeah. It's just, I feel like the there's a, there's a fine line between this fight is cramped and you have to have strategy to get through it. And just, this fight is cramped and you have to tank damage and pray you don't die. This map in my opinion, really crosses that line. I, I don't know how to do those last two fights with the BFG legit. It's beyond me, and I, I, I'm I sorry. <laughs> but yeah, hope you guys don't mind this cheese, and uh, yeah. And finally, finally, tomorrow, we can get around to map 29. Oh boy. <laughs> map 29. I'll see you then. Thank you so much for watching and have a good one.